It's gonna be nice. Okay, that's definitely new. <laughs> Nightmare. Holy crap. What is wrong with you? That's hideous. And a large box magazine. Okay, that I'm actually more intrigued by. Let's see. Large box mag. Okay, so we drop crit, we go up to 56. I mean... Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know if that 1% crit's really going to matter. Especially if we can fire more bullets. That means our base damage is probably going to be a bit higher. And then we'll still crit relatively fast. You found a circuit board puzzle. Okay. Change the color of a light. Switching the color of one light will also change all adjacent lights. Use the moves you have to make all the lights green. Oh, I'm not good at these at all. Okay. So. If I change this... It'll make the other ones red. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is... This kind of stuff is crazy. There we go. Oh, I hope there's not a lot of these. <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of stuff that I my brain doesn't compute very well. Oh, here we go. It's a huggle. Some of these guys look like uh, Alice in Wonderland. Like those fat cats. Oh, I like the extra ammo. Bye-bye. So much water. Gee, it just doesn't stop down here. They should all be combining to work together. Their success rate would be much higher. Not that they need any combat advice. Cocky. Yet. There's this weird thing with this Super Wung Fu where the angle of your camera kind of matters for when you're getting locked onto stuff.
That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's just nasty bio. You found a glue, goo, gla, goo glide parts box. These boxes can be found around the world and contain parts for you to customize your goo As glide. Link, puke. So this seems to be exactly like the mech ton thing. Scrot stern. Except there's fewer of these. There's only nine. I think the the mech ton had like 14, but I think we got, I want to say eight of them. At least you're not coming out of this empty handed. On the slightest. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was, as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. Yep. So we've learned. You need to line up the switches so they match. Nailed it! Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. This day is as good as it's going to get. Haha. <laughs> we may as well end it then. He's got the goo glide functional. You will have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no armor, and an engine strong enough to break through the thick goo further out. What's a salvage net? <laughs> there are lots of valuables left behind on the surf floor that the salvage net will enable you to haul. You just need to find the right spots. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. Okay. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surf Epelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you will have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able <laughs> to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. <laughs> he only knows what's visible to the naked eye. Gulp is not much of a babbler and mostly keeps to himself and his drink. And like just like that, I guess we ride. Gum quacks? Use the normal movement controls to drive the Goo Glide. You can boost by pressing left stick. You can customize the Goo Glide, jump on it, and use the call mount button. All right. We're on a skitter. Bike kind. I think this one's better. It's all like above water this way. And not a bad. Okay, so we now have three mounts, our natural Things mount. Are happening. It's not just anyone that's awake and moving. The uh the mech ton and now the goo glide. We need to figure out how to get quacks to distract uh the fluffly puff. <laughs> whatever his name is. And then we need to take our goo glide to, to deal with the the fluffly puff with our super gum quacks. On the surfy goo. Easy. Uh, this fire, is that good, or...? You're poking around Hockbur, a prime village. Defeat the village attackers. Okay. You asked for it. Everywhere. 
Not enough key energy. we go. Now, can I actually there are things save this out place? There waiting for you. Hold on, gotta pee. Let's see. Says the tribe Sifu sent them here to help defend against the rival tribe that's been terrorizing their village. Come to your name. Isn't sure how long the village will last if it continues. Come to your name. As if the plague ruining the land and destroying the crops wasn't enough to bring the village to its knees already. That's what they call the blight that's been haunting the land since the old world ended in the apocalypse around here. The Sifu asked you to help, and that's what you must do. Mm. Well, we are slowly Says dealing with it. See each other later. Deliver the wood to the village. What? Help cutting the wood to size. Easiest job of my life. Perhaps now you can see your targets better. I guess it's daytime. I see they have a little weapons bench up there. You can maybe check that out. We have a lot of materials. Has no doubt you've earned the trust and support of this village. Actions speak louder than words. You did good here. Is always willing to listen. You did good. Okay, so they sell some clothes, gear bits, range parts. It's all super basic. All right. I am gonna see if I can use this upgrade bench. All right, uh, we still need significantly more wood, significantly more everything. These are decent upgrades. You just gotta, you gotta be able to pay for them, which is not easy. Thank whoever left this climb stringer here. All right. I 
can maybe take the goo glide, but let's see if we can get... Uh, oh, he's in the middle. Ha! Ah! Never mind. I do need to take the goo glide. Come on. We have to kill for the darkness. We're almost tied. I probably need to be on a dock, don't I? Heroes are only heroes for others, but they do the work, or they're heroes to no one. This here is That's the cool. got a little beach drinking hut. Gulp, yeah. At the very least. He seems grouchy. Already like him. Yeah. He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have something for him to drink. Oh, I meet this very points out that he's hungry too, but always thirsty for more. He's an alky, guys. Don't don't encourage him. Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wonders if you could take the time to help a man slake his own thirst. You'd be doing him a liquid solid. You're a do-gooder, so you know you want to. Either way, he hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful. But either way, you can't stop drinking till you're dead. <gasps> Frank Gallagher's friend. Or Frank himself. Sure. That's the point. But you can't stop trying new ones, or life gets dull. Wants to raise a glass to you getting the world fixed up a bit. Respects how you always try to help, no matter that the world's fate is hard to swallow. Sees why you joined up with the Myriad. They like a peaceful drink, just like you. Oh, you drink with them? Says he sells them drinks. They mostly suck them down on their own. But who cares about them? Can you tell me about the quacks? Be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. I meet this. Without a drink, and radium syrup especially, he can't move, much less think, as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. <sighs> it all makes sense now. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. You think maybe you have a problem there, Gulp? Figures the real problem is finding yeah. something to drink. That's, yes, he does. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. He's the Surfipelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times. And, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. You're just sitting here squeezing your gum quacks? They're better at floating than flapping, so you should be able to net a few without growing yourself a pair of wings. Okay, find a gum quack hollow. Oh, 
Oh, I should mark this. You found some rough waters. You must upgrade the engine of your Goo Glide to travel through them. Find engine upgrades in wreck boxes and equip them in the Goo Glide customization menu when using it. I wonder if that's like... Oh, it actually says... Okay, requirement, engine level, whatever. So that's Let's a little see. different than the mech ton, I think. Let's just marvel at it all. I think we're okay here. Use the melee attack input while you're on a goo glide to lock onto a scrap pile and move it. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. It's a new top mod. We haven't had one of those for a while. Now, why is it taking me back to him? Not to forget about those quacks. Okay. So maybe beacons are the things we need to keep an eye out to grab stuff from. I don't know if it's just me, but I seem to always have to summon him twice. Oh, yes, and of course. Oh, cool. That's neat. So similar to getting rid of the goo stuff with the mech ton. The quack hollow. It's just loony. Whoa. Are these like eels? Stone skipping across the goo on a jet. Okay, yeah, there's this big spinning... Oh, I see. Never mind. I was like, how are we going to do that? Now we have all these new puzzles. You found a cable connect puzzle. You need to connect the three cables to different ports to solve the puzzle. Each port has positive and or negative value. These ports can be seen above and below the, the port, or values can be seen above and below. To successfully complete the puzzle, connect the cables so that they add up to the amount shown at the bottom of the screen. Connect a cable to select a port, press A. Okay, so this needs to get to six, I guess? Or... Uh... Right, okay, so this one is just neutral. So if I take an X to a double X... There we go. Alright, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I like that there's now s some variety in the puzzles. I wonder if we should have, like, forced ourselves to come out here a lot earlier, but there's there's so much stuff to do along the way. Couldn't just be open, eh? Bolted shut. Yeah, couldn't just be open, eh? Maybe that's where we'll come out. Jackhammer. Okay, let's catch some gum quacks. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Should have known. Bang, bang. future is in your hands so take care of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh can I call my little dude in here no oh we're not sinking I thought this might be deep we could have battled in here instead of being stuck on that tiny island is that what you're telling me Don't need to aim much when you can fly. Oh, this please many be points. better than mine. Probably isn't. Oh, it's puny. We'll take it. pack large. I feel like we save those for like uh bosses pretty much. Disgusting. Biohazard. Just gross. Now, can we actually use this? Oops. Uh okay, so we've got fungi. Oh, this is the jumping one. I think we said we're going to hold this for quite a while. Um, mucus bubble, jump to bounce or roll over enemies to stick them to the bubble. If you press the bound input again, the bubble will burst and attach to enemies discharged. We have mud punch, and then we have turtle form. I think we just hold these. It's unfortunate, but there's no point in upgrading those minor ones, I don't think. Well, that looks like you could do some damage. Okay, not bad. Ready to hack and slash. Not bad. Okay, so the sprinkle schmick sharper. Oh, two. Yeah, okay. I mean, we'd have to upgrade it quite a bit. It's a medium class, like the Jagni thing, so. You need to line up the switches so they match. Okay, so we need these to be opposite. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and... That's the locked the door. Now, what are we missing? Oh, we got everything. Nice. Life is a difficult game, no matter how you play it. You, like, jump it back into position. I'm coming, Goop. You're gonna be proud. Oh, wait. I'm gonna get this totem. Yeah, see here we have another, like, buoy. Now, can I just... Can I ignore these explosive things? Kind of. All right. Oh, we got enemies? Whoa. Oh, it's bouncing me back because of the uh, engine requirement. So hold up a second here. Oh, see? There are levels associated with this. I don't notice that with um, the the mech ton. 
But we have level two now, so that's good. He's pretty far. Wait, where are we going back? We're going back to Goop. I'm on a mount. What a blow! The Domp outpost. Shined up by the Myriad tribe. Reach for those skulls. Bye bye. Okay, that could be something. This story is as powerful worth as unlocking. You let it be. If we're lucky. For 12 and 13, dark and light. Uh, okay. So, we're blocked until we hit 20 on either side. What do we want more? I think telekinesis, right? We talked about throwing people off of, uh, off of cliffs and stuff. So, yeah. I'm just gonna save for this. If we get a bunch of extra side points before hitting the level, then fine. I'll upgrade something, but... Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, let's just jump over to Goop. Goopy baby. I'm back. That's enough quacks to sustain the Googlide flipper with infinite ammunition. Nice. Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of Date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. After that, out of date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the world eaters and it wasn't by foot that's how he got tasked with rebuilding the googlide he seems happy to talk i'm ready says talking to you was interesting Okay, cool. Now we can defeat the Porky Puff, and I am on it. Guys, let's take a break here. When we come back, we're going to head towards the Porky Puff. I probably can't just get right out there, if I had to guess. Well, let's look. Look. Yeah, so there's going to be some stuff to do along the way, which is fine. But we'll start heading there and uh, see how things go. Wish me luck. See you soon.